When you get to the resources page for equivalent fractions, there's two web pages, equivalent fraction wheels, that when you've completed, you can then try the mixed number wheels. And there's also an Excel file equivalent fractions that you need to open to enter your solutions into. When I enter equivalent fraction wheels, it looks a bit like this one. And I want to just focus on one circle at a time. So we're just doing A at the moment. And I have to move this slider, which changes the number of pieces that the circles cut into, until these black lines, spokes, radiuses, fit perfectly, radii, fit perfectly over the shaded area. There they fitted perfectly over the shaded area. And I've cut that pie into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pieces, four of which have shaded. So 4 fourteenths is a fraction that's equivalent to that shaded area. The quick way for counting up the number of pieces I've cut it into is to look at the slider, 14. So then I go to the Excel file and see if I'm right. I enter in 4 fourteenths. It should turn green if I'm correct. Why hasn't it? Well, in this white box at the start, you must uh, enter the fraction in its lowest possible terms. That means you could simplify this fraction. Now, if you look at 4 and 14, what could they simplify to? Yeah, they're both even numbers, so that can be divided by 2, and so can 14 to make 2 sevenths, and then we're right. And the 4 fourteenths equivalent fraction can go in here. Do remember to enter in the denominator first if you want both to turn green. Again, you need to find three other equivalent fractions to put in there. An example might be, if I slide that, well, that hasn't perfectly covered the green area, but when I get to 21, we'll see that it does. And that's 6 21st. So I could also enter 6 21st in the next box along. When you finish those equivalent fraction sheets, you need to try the mixed numbers. So the mixed numbers will look a bit like this, and you've got whole circles shaded in here and a fraction of a circle. You can see when I've moved the slider to 24, it covers perfectly the brown shaded area here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 24ths that are coloured in perfectly here. And four holes. So I go to my Excel worksheet and I scroll down to the bottom where the mixed numbers section is. And this is number M. And so we said there's four holes there. And so it's gone green. I know I'm correct. And we think it's 6 24ths. It hasn't gone green. Why might that be? It's not the simplest fraction, and the white ones always have to be the simplest. So I could probably enter the 6 24ths here, because it's equivalent, and four holes, and it tells me I'm right. I just need to simplify this. What's the highest common factor of 6 and 24? 6, 1 quarter, and that's the lowest, so it's turned green. That's the activity. You've then got another mixed number to find for that activity, followed by some improper fractions. Improper fractions is where the top is bigger than the bottom number. So if I look at this, there are four circles, each with 24 pieces coloured in. Well, four lots of 24 is 96, plus the extra six pieces down here. So we actually need 102 pieces out of 24 to be equivalent to that. So again, the denominator is 24, but the numerator this time is 102. And if you get it wrong, it won't turn green. And that's how you know. Very best of luck.